Hi, this is Mike. Hi, this is Britt. Let's do it again. Okay. Yeah, you were just right, totally right. off. Okay, so right, right. Right. Here we go, here we go. Hi, it's Mike. Hi, it's Hi, it's Mike. Hi, it's Mike Hughes. Hi, Britt Lance. Meet, welcome to Meet the Pressers. Okay, ready, ready? Here we go. Yep. Hi, it's Mike Hughes. Hi, it's Britt Lance. Welcome to Meet the Pressers. Recorded live at the Caltech stage at SHOT Show 2020 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, it's Meet the Pressers. Meet the Pressers with Matt Mallory and Clint Necro. Brought to you by Public Safety and Education and the Trigger Pressers Union. And now, your hosts. Welcome everybody, this is Clint Macro with Meet the Pressers. My esteemed co-host, Matt Mallory. That's right, we're all here at the Caltech stage here at SHOT Show 2020 with my good friends and special guests, Mike Hughes and Britt Lentz. They're gonna talk about one of their new exciting products that they unveiled here at SHOT Show. Absolutely. This episode of Meet the Pressers is sponsored by Mantis X. Mantis X helps shooters suck less. Asp and Saber Red. Meet the Pressers is also supported by other fine companies, ranges, and our Patreon members. David, Faisal, David, Frank, Michael, Tara, and Dominic. Thank you. We, of course, make a cert training pistol, all right? And we have uh, quite a few of those out there, but we want to have a better tool for rifle craft, all right? So we have a cert bullet, we have some other things, but this was something that kind of came out of the woodwork. It's about mm, three months ago. Uh, incredibly fast design time here. But people already have a cert, all right? You slide it into this rifle chassis, we call it the stick, the cert tactical integrated carrier, all right? So the Picatinny rail slides on in, and then um, it pops up and locks in place. So you have a functional safety, okay? You have a buttstock um, mount points for your sling. Of course, a nice full aluminum Picatinny rail up top to put all kinds of optics you want, whatever you choose. Uh, four mounts here, a little Picatinny rail in the front, but you got M-locks, uh, um, the other locking systems, what have you. So allows for training. You have adjustable barrel length. So if you're running a short barrel length and you're working like, you know, flagging the barrel as versus like a 20 inch, it said department, it says 20 inches and whatever, like they better train on that so they don't, you know, flag the muzzle going around corners, things like that. So super excited on this, super excited on this. So the lasers come just right out of the bottom. All right, so you have the prep laser, you know, all the functionality, the CERT. CERT does the heavy lifting technologically and the carrier, the, you know, the heft of it. It does, uh, of course, provides that platform feel to do rifle training, a ton of rifle training. Definitely. And Mike, tell us about the magazine. How does the magazine integrate with that? Because I, I know we were at the booth earlier and looking, yep. and that's that's pretty awesome right there. Yeah, you know, it's it's it's, it's the magazine. It, it, it has, allows um, some aspects of a reload. It's not perfect. All right, want to manage expectations. I mean, just to maintain costs and what have you. It's not really for you know. Th there's not a functional mag drop here. Uh, but it does, so you of course, can't do those right. awesome kung fu flip the th flip the mag no, out there. Okay. No, you know, wouldn't be for that type of training. <laughs> but but you can work on reloads yeah. and pull. And actually, it brings up a good point. I mean, what I was initially concerned with this, just functionally for training wise, is the height is just a little bit higher than an AR with the cert. But what we found is testing beforehand was that it, it really didn't affect the training as far as transferability to you know this to to the rifle. You know what I mean? Just because yeah. it's where it's like here or there, it just doesn't. It just doesn't really matter. So the height of this magwell is calibrated for the height of the grip, all right? Because that's going to be your kind of main cueing point, point. Yeah. yeah, reference point, yep. to be consistent as far as you know to hit that. And then of course it pulls when you pull, if you know, you know the standard proper you know push pull, there is enough um, resistance in there to grab the mag catch, you know. So so at least you get you get that aspect of the training for the reload. Very nice. Cool. Very cool. The other part of this is that we're super excited about is in the past with our other previous products, you had to use a live fire AR. Mm -hmm. And the issue with that is it can't just be sitting around the house. It's still a live fire. Yeah. The cert can sit on your table all day long. You get tons of training with it. Yeah. With the new cert stick, we're excited because the reality is it can sit around. It can be on your counter. You can pick it up. You can train. Has not, will not, and cannot ever go bang. Yeah. It's a That's nice awesome. thing. Right. Yeah, very cool. It's awesome. And it's legal in New York. <laughs> we think. Yeah, so, well, not, not with for that a short maggot. time. <laughs> Just for a short time. Not with that maggot. Right? Yeah, I really like the the positive the positive click of the safety. Yep. 
I think that's important. Well, you know, and it's almost designed for a little bit more resistance. So someone really has to really has to work it. Because you know, our philosophy on that is to like, well, it's a training tool. So make it very, very positive that you have to very much, you know, gun up, safety down, gun down, safety very up. Very deliberate. And yeah. and, and very deliberate, very deliberate. Call it like a, a marionette, right? Yeah. The, the strings, the second those elbows break, the second that you make that movement, you need to have the safety. Yep, yep. Functional safety is nice. So you kind of see how it works. When safety's on, it's just blocking the trigger from going to the rear. Safety off, and it just pulls that bar out of the way. So you get a functional safety, so, which on a car being really important, right? That yep. you have that muscle memory of, Fire, 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 safety on. So I like that. We're looking like like about 200 bucks, you know, for that for that uh, just MSRP, uh, what have you. Uh, we're looking at doing specials on this, honestly. Mm -hmm. So package special. So if you take one of our performer pistols, cert pistols, which has a polymer slide and red red lasers, mm -hmm. um, so it's a little less expensive. A lot of instructors like that, mm -hmm. you know, the outfit classes. So maybe they have the teacher model, the pro model, and yep. and um, they have performers to outfit everyone. So about two ninety nine, we're looking for the whole combo. Right? Wow, that's great. And that's not including the you know, optics and things like that. Um, this will be a little bit. Um, slings, we're actually looking at uh, providing those. All right, just a basic two point sling. Like you know, there's fancy ones out there, and we recommend you know, of course, trying those. But just a basic two point sling with the adjustable end. You know, that's that's the main functionality that people really need to train, so they can you know set their mounts what fits and and uh, go for it. Excellent. It is awesome. I like Good how price. this. I like how the safety just kind of blocks the trigger. It's it's a great way to repurpose yeah. an existing asset that an instructor or or just a shooter has that they're going to train with. Here we left the safety on. Yep. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Good work. Exactly. Good work. Good work. Um, well, yeah. And to that end, I mean, that's what we're excited about. There's so many instructors out there that have cert pistols. You know, they may have like five, ten. Some have twenty, you know, and above. But now, put on a rifle course is our thing. You know, yeah. like just. Take just, it to the next level. Yeah, take it to the next level. Like you have an email list, all right? I'm assuming you have, you have a good list of instructors, I assume. I, a very I, healthy yes, list. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I mean, or, you know, you know look, going to the tutelage of, of, you know, Clint and Mallory here and, and, and it's, it's put on a rifle course. It could be so basic and people will get so much value out of it. Just a simple, you know, gun, working the, the safety, working the offset, you know, a quick, really cool little drill I don't know if you can show it here properly, but it's when you pin the trigger, all right, and you can see the laser here, but when you pin the trigger and look down the optic on a wall, that offset, you know, because as you're real close, there's a lot of offset. As it goes right. down the wall, you see, oh, I kind of get a sense, you know, I mean, in the laser emulating roughly the bullet drop. You know, yes. I mean, at 20 yards, the bullet drop's pretty, fairly negligible. So, anyways, there's cool drills. I think instructors can have an amazing time raising the bar with their students just to get more comfortable, more proficient with their AR-15s. So how's the barrel length gonna adjust? Just a screw and just change yeah, it? Yeah, it's four really screws. slick. Yep, four screws. So in the very top right here, probably won't catch it in the video, but uh, it's hex wrench, I think two millimeter. And the bottom is actually captured with the hexagonal uh, cavity. So, you know, you don't have to dink around the damn thing, turn in and all that, right? And uh, yeah, you loosen that up, you lengthen the barrel and boom, then tighten her back down. So really slick. Really slick system because it does nothing comes out of the barrel. The, the lasers wow. actually come out of the bottom. All right. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Very hence, great. hence your that's another way you've uh, made it safe. Simulated that offset too, right? Yeah, I can say with the uh, existing cert bolt that you guys sell, and I assume you're still going to sell that, right? Yep. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah we're working on new models on that too. Yeah, I've, I've used that for many years, and I would take people through. Well, I'd do like a, a basic rifle course and maybe we would shoot around cover concealment sometimes around my vehicle. I can take my Jeep onto our range and I can, I have a thing, like if you shoot the window out, you got to buy new glass. <laughs> right. But yep. otherwise, you know, we shoot around and over top of them beneath the, the vehicle. I would have them run through with the cert bolt first because as you said, a lot of people don't recognize that offset and I don't want them shooting my fender up, right? Yeah. So they'll use the bolt first and see skipping that green laser hood. skipping off the hood and like, oh, <laughs> I understand offset. Yes. Yeah, so. Oh, uh, it's huge. Yeah, I swear, just, I mean, just from our experience, this limited experience interfacing with a lot of people, just working the selector switch, safety, and understanding the offset. If instructors just get that concepts to their students, 
I mean, you've you stacked the woodpile higher, <laughs> you know, my humble opinion. And then you put on sling work and you know, shoulder, right shoulder, left shoulder, strong shoulder, all that stuff on top of it, and you're, that's all. That's all. Uh, good You'd be gravy. amazed at the individuals that present the gun up and they can't pull the trigger because they didn't yeah. work the sling. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. That's a happens a lot. Well, I really failure. like that this is a way to repurpose an existing asset. I mean, uh, the, the CERT pistol is an investment, a, a, an investment mm -hmm. well worth making. I think anyone that's ever had a chance to really train with them yep. uh, and, and train seriously sees the value in them. But, yeah. you know, especially if they get a pro model, that's, that's an investment mm -hmm. of money. Yeah. That, this Very is a much. great way for them to repurpose that asset in a different way and still gain even additional value out of the product. Well, and we're having fun with this too. I mean, our final tool mods, because once, you know, tool, I mean, this is manufacturing inside baseball stuff, but, you know, you design it to be metal off safe, so you, you kind of work things in. So like, first, for example, if, I don't know if people haven't tuned out yet, but um, we want this, this portion right here where uh, you can see it well with the red black, um, the locking point to really be tight because we think we can actually tighten up the lock to the pistol. So the lasers pretty gosh darn, yeah. you know, locked in and repeatable when you put it in and out for, for your optic. Shot indicating resetting trigger. The resetting trigger aspect of this too has great value yes. because mm -hmm. if you're going to teach, like I, I like to teach a rifleman's cadence mm -hmm. where, you know, you take, a, you take a shot, reset, you go through your breath cycle, then press again and you get into a nice cadence and deliver a consistent, yep. consistent stream of lead down Rub range. Position. And with that, with that trigger reset, man, that's, that's in this context especially feels quite like the AR trigger. Yeah, yeah, very realistic. Yeah, it's it's exciting. We're super, super, I mean, I'm excited. I mean, this is it, like stuff has to excite us. The pre-production models and prototype models I haven't been able to put down. I constantly sit there, I sling up and just, and just keep working little hackathon drills and things like that. Yeah. So it's, yeah, super exciting. It's awesome, yeah. yeah. Multi-use. <laughs> no, no modesty here, I'm yeah. just saying. Like, <laughs> it is, this is something we are proud of. And, and, you, and you should be. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Very much so. Hey, we're on Target Shooting Sports in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And this is Meet the Pressers with Matt Mallory and Clint Macro. Meet the Pressers. Um, how can people reach out to you, find out more about you to be able to purchase your product and, and yeah. uh, training, stuff like that? Yeah. Well, nextleveltraining.com is the best kind of central central source, you know, and yep. go from there. Like little training videos, you know, hit some different things. We also have kind of a sister uh, dedicated um, site, uh, certliving.com, okay. S-I-R-T living.com. And that's, there's links to that. It's basically just at the learning management systems for some bigger courses and stuff. Mm -hmm. So people want to sign in. It's all right now. I mean, Speaking of bigger courses, free. USCCA yeah, I was just, gonna say that. just oh, yeah. announced uh, yeah. uh, something new. Why don't yeah. you talk about that real quick? Oh yeah, that's exciting. That is a super fun course. So USCC basically wanted more of a CERT-based course for instructors and end users. And um, so, you know, utilizing their resources and everything, we went back there, filmed it up, and, it's, and it really turned out slick. I really, I really like, the, like some stuff we do, we do it, and you know, honestly, you're done. You got it done. It's probably like a producer making a movie, or you're making it sound like, you know, it's like, yeah, we got it done, but it kind of sucks or whatever. This one I like. Oh, okay. good, good. Okay, let's, be one, honest, yeah. let's be honest. Let's be honest. This really good. Oh, no, he here gets we go. there. You know what kind of day it's going to be because he's either a one and done and it's phenomenal, or it's and it doesn't happen very often. Once in a while, it's a, well, let me do that again. Well, let me do that again. Yeah. And when it's flowing, it's going to be good. And this yep. was a flowing day. It's like yeah. way woo, like you know, no, you know, no force, just like flow. So, so we had a, we had a great time there. You know, great people, USCCA. Yeah. Um, we did prepare a heck of a lot, you know, going upstream into it, you know. Well, 20 years of preparing and shooting and all that, but also right. like weeks of like, okay, let's make sure that the, the antecedent basis and everything is, is locked down. So um, it's a great product. I, I think um, I think that's I think that's going to do some some neat things because I don't know instructors again, they gotta. I, I don't, I, I don't want to be too cavalier here, but I just think instructors have to have a slightly more aggressive business sense. And not be content just with that CCW class, but get that email list, cut and paste it, put on that next class. Yeah. You know, use your surf pistols. Have a have a zero out of pocket other than your fuel, <laughs> you know, and like a few cents in battery cost, Absolutely. right? You know, and yeah. put on those second classes. You won't get everyone, but I think you'll get 20% of your former students. You know, and they'll enjoy it. You're stacking the wood pile higher, and, and of course, you know, it's revenue stream. You're Absolutely, making money. And, and it hey, gives, mama. and it'll give those instructors one more way to touch our fellow citizens with good training. Absolutely. You know, whether it goes all the way back to like baby steps where they just want to learn how to handle it safely. Yes. 
and, and be confident to be able to continue training or supplementing in like hardcore actual defensive training. And you can do that with the CERT. And I, I think that program is really going to help not only empower people who take the class, but empower instructors to give them that one more class or that one more. Absolutely. Just have that, just that substantive confidence to put on a, you know, you know heck, put on a you know, compromise shooting class, get some boxes, right? And do drills of compromise shooting, yeah. right? Yeah. You know, low ports and stuff. I mean, be creative. I think, um, I think the mere fact that your students are in there doing drills, that self-exploration, and you probably, I think a lot of instructors don't know what they know. Like they'll see something and off, like, ah, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. And be able to it correct it. Yeah, absolutely. And it's all transferable to the range, which is, which is beautiful. Well, Amazing. I'm definitely glad to have you guys on. Yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah, Thank great. you for your time. Oh, absolutely. Love it. Absolutely. As always. As always. Good stuff. Reminisce of, uh, of the, uh, the USCC Expo. We're all reaching across, yeah. shaking <laughs> each other's hands. Yeah, right, 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 it was right, funny. Right. It was great. Yeah. Samantha Smichka with Cutting Edge Bullets. This is Meet the Pressers with Clint Macro and Matt Mallory. Meet the Pressers. We've got a very special guest, Gary Drake from Next Level Training. And uh, Gary, what else do you do out there? What's, uh, what do you got going on? Well, currently I'm an executive protection agent for some tech companies up in the Seattle area and do a lot of their training of uh, both firearms and combatives at that. And also uh, work for uh, some, some training in the police departments and military and some DOD stuff. Awesome. Well, for uh, Next Level Training this year, we just brought out our new rifle, our rifle platform. So we're going to be doing an instructor uh, instructor course and some training courses for the rifle, uh, both uh, not only for military and law enforcement, but for civilian use, some home defense use and stuff like that. So we're going to be really heavy, heavy working into the rifle, working those into stuff like, uh, you know, how, how to use a rifle in home defense, uh, how to use a rifle in stuff like if you are having it for church security or any type of corporate security. Well, one nice thing, especially in that context, when you're talking about a house of worship or a school, once you start to get your own kung fu on your ability to use the gun properly, you can use these in those very facilities very safely because, well, it's a it's a photon, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that that was one of the big things with working with cert the cert uh, um, the cert pistol at first was in law enforcement up where we were in Washington. A lot of times we couldn't even get airsoft into those places. So when we're actually doing training, trying to protect our kids up there, we weren't allowed to use the tools that we were actually using. So when we started with the CERT gun and at that time the CERT bolt, mm -hmm. so we could actually run a bunch of different uh, scenarios, mm -hmm. a bunch of different repetitions on those scenarios right. without, you know, with, without having to wear a bunch of heavy gear. Uh, you could run these repetitions and, and see where these shots are going, more or less where the shots, if they were missing, where they were heading to and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, so that was a big, big thing is we were getting a lot of repetitions even more than when we were actually wearing like our simulations gear or mm -hmm. um, you know is that now man we can get in we can run this this scenario over and over and over and over again we can yes. stop it in mid set you know in mid mid uh, mid evolution and go hey let's go back and let's just run that one piece again right, because great. we're seeing we're seeing if guys come in if they sweep you know that type of stuff we're seeing where those shots are coming at yep. coming from uh, bad guys and uh, you know being a role player in there too having the cert guns in there you can see when that cert guns coming yep. to you. so I mean you, you know it showed a lot of different things that we could do in those right. scenarios and it really opened up our training even in some of the environments where we could use sims uh, we would use these again all of our high repetition stuff and then our simulations just became basically verification of that training that we were doing sure. those baby steps mm -hmm. right that, that's uh, that's genius in, in that sense to take something that's commonly used but people get scared of like I use the cert guns and definitely going to be using the yeah. the uh, the stick coming up in classes to be able to get people used to firearms before we move them up and we're seeing more of that now because of church shootings and school shootings where people who would have never thought about getting a gun are now wanting to arm themselves where we're at the police academies and stuff like that or brand new shooters because we are seeing a big influx of brand new shooters. We're working at Bellevue mm -hmm. Gun Club up in Washington. We're seeing a whole bunch of brand new shooters in there and really putting them on the cert gun, learning all the fundamentals and everything before that loud bang so they're comfortable with the weapon, they're comfortable with the movements of the weapons and the tech. So when that loud bang comes in, it's not that scary to them. So it, it's, uh, you know, basically a crawl, walk, uh, run progression. Well, building that degree of confidence at the beginning, confidence in their ability to handle the gun safely so that they can continue to train more in context using the live fire or, you know, if, in your department, stuff like that, using like simunitions or UTM, something like that, to kind of up the realism with that right. as well. Building right. that that first level of confidence, I think, is very 
yeah, very huge, important. Huge, huge. Especially when you're talking about grip, stance, or, or you right. know how to manipulate the gun. Then by the time they actually do get into doing live fire, a lot of the, the we'll call them mistakes that we see, aren't there. So they actually are able to handle the recoil better. They're able to deal with the, you know, deal with the recoil, be able to get target acquisition on their secondary, third day sight picture, things yeah, like that, much sure. more efficient. For sure, I'm much more efficient in that. You know, we're, we're seeing people, and, and we know, I mean, everything from basic shooters to competition shooters, the, the more comfortable you are with the weapon, the more comfortable with how you move yeah. with the weapon, right? The, the easier things come along with that, and that's just what you're saying. We're seeing now people coming in, brand new, haven't picked up a pistol at all, and you know, within a few sessions, we're having them out shooting with people right next to them, and that, they're not getting that, because they're having the confidence that they know what right. this can do, what can it do, and, and with these, you get you can do so many high repetition stuff, too, that, you know, and yeah. I'll go in the range, I shoot, you know, I grab two boxes of ammo, and I shoot 100 rounds, 150 rounds, yeah. you know, that's really not, a lot of times, training, that's just me putting rounds mm -hmm. down range, you know, really where it's training coming from, and, and being able to have that, and use these, you know, high repetition training, um, we tell people a lot of times when, uh, when I do plan on going to the range, you know, a lot of my training will be very, um, uh, very disciplined. And this is what I'm going to work on. Maybe I'm just working on my draw the shot, draw the right. shot, draw the mm -hmm. shot. And then when I do get to the range, you know, my my rounds out there are real efficient because all I'm really doing is verifying the training yeah. that I've been doing. Repeating right? what you did, so yeah. your round count goes down, save money and time. Yeah, staying real deliberate in my dry my dry practice, right? And yeah. So when I'm on the range, it's just the verification of what my dry practice was doing. Yeah, it gives you an opportunity to evaluate in context, right? For sure. Yeah, because sure. you know you're not going to get the recoil necessarily, and or certainly not. You're not going to get slide lock stimulus or bolt lock stimulus, yeah. but. You get really good application of the fundamentals. You get to do kinesthetic alignment. You get fit. You can do everything you need to here and then do the live fire and it just verifies everything. Right. right. Uh, the people that I coach individually, man, I'll use the cert a lot, get that comfort level there, then get them on the real gun and really evaluate them and then go back and use this to really fine tune, like take that soapstone to really just, right. just hone away at it. And if you're doing you know, uh, disarming tactics, or if you're doing, I'm sure in law enforcement, you use these a lot because, well, it's a photon. Yeah. So to be able to do things with this that you give you a lot more, uh, a lot more things to read than say a blue gun, mm -hmm. but it's still perfectly safe, right? Yeah, and, and we don't have to get a bunch of big gear on, you know, we don't have to get a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, right. false standoffs that, that you need for some munitions right. and stuff like that. Right. And that we can actually be at this close range. And you can right. see, you know, actually how hard it is to shoot somebody at this close range right. if, yeah. if they're focused and, and vigil trying to... With all that them. extra gear on, that definitely, you know, takes away from some of the learning capability because you're not going to move like you normally would move. For sure. But another another thing that I love about the, the laser aspect of it is if, you know, if you're shooting, if you're somebody's dry firing and they're just shooting at... You know, a target on the wall. How do they know they really did a good job? They they don't without that backup laser to show them where it's impacting. They can say, "Oh, I'm shooting low." They can use that laser in that sense to, to know where that impact is. Right. You know, and I'll tell people you can shoot at light switches, doorknobs, or pictures of relatives on the wall if you, <laughs> you don't like. Um, you don't necessarily have to have other things. You can just shoot at something. But if you have a target and you have a red dot to verify where that is, now you're not building bad training scars. Right. And that was one of the you know one of the developments too was. Uh, Mike, who developed the CERT gun, you always use the analogy of, you know, we can stand here, and as you guys can tell, I'm an obvious basketball player, right? I mean, <laughs> but I can stand here and I can shoot hoops against a flat wall, and I look, I can look beautiful doing it, but yep. unless I'm seeing where that ball is going, I don't know. And it was the same thing with dry practice. A lot of times we're doing our dry practice, pressing out to our shots, whatever, we don't really know if, right. if our grip's right, or trigger press is right. We don't know where that round's right. going. I can look in the mirror and go, oh man, that was beautiful. I'm a beautiful shooter, right? I got good but form. I, but I don't know where that shot was going. Sure. And then, you know, that was one of the big things with the cert gun, being able yeah. to actually show that going. Like I said, I, you know, that cold press in the morning tells me, man, I better spend five more minutes right. on this or I'm ready to roll out. You know? Kind of put it in the same category as like focus mitts, really. You know, focus mitts when we're fighting or sparring, right? That's where you're doing all your technical stuff, getting good hits in, right? Movement, stuff like that. Right. And then our, our Real pistols for manipulations are kind of like the heavy bag, and then our range is kind of like out sparring. You know, we kind of put it in those same categories. Yeah, that's great. First time I met you, I think you didn't smile as much then as you do now. <laughs> did, he, did you put him in a headlock? <laughs> could, could you tell us maybe your background? What led you up? What's what's your background, and and when did you get involved with Next Level Training, helping them to develop their curriculum? Yeah, I, 
Um, background, uh, martial arts since I was a young, young, very young kid, four years old, started martial arts. Uh, progressed in, progressed in the shooting. Uh, I went to the Marine Corps from that, uh, infantryman 0311. Uh, infantryman and then went to law enforcement from there. From law enforcement I was in, um, I did everything from SWAT, I was narcotics, uh, undercover narcotics officer, uh, detective, stuff like that. Um, but I was mostly always still into the um, into the training aspect, not only in law enforcement but in the military and stuff like that. And uh, with, with Washington State, how it was is that you were usually either a DT instructor or a firearms instructor. Okay. Uh, you, you weren't a combination of both, and I was lucky enough to be in a position to where I could actually start working into both. Um, That's awesome. A, a long history on a, a group where you train with called A Wrestling, but it was basically when we were all training up there, and this is pre UFC and stuff like that, yeah. is that even though we were doing, like if you were a boxer, we were doing boxing one week, and if you were a kickboxer, we were doing kickboxing. If I was a judo guy, we were doing judo, but we weren't com combining it all together at that time. We didn't have our duty belts on us. Um, so when the uh, death of one of our uh, partners up there kind of changed our mindset and going, well, not only did we know some of the tactics were probably, for lack of a better term, bullshit, um, we were still teaching it because that's what we were taught how to teach and what to teach. And yeah. we decided, you know, let's get together, let's train, let's start mixing all these uh, uh, styles together, yep. but let's do it when we're building stuff around the duty belt itself. Right. Instead of having Smart. outside influences telling us what we needed for tactics around the duty belt, let's actually have the duty belt on and start working around that and developing tactics and techniques for it's more that. realistic. Right, right. So uh, that's where we started into that. Um, when I left the... Uh, Police, uh, police agency to go to executive protection. Uh, my last duty was I was one of the head firearms instructors and DT instructors for our state academy. Okay, very nice. Yeah. So when did you start working with Mike and Brick? I started working Mike and Brick uh, about 10 years ago. 10, uh, wow. Yeah, a long time. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, they came to us and handed us, a, it was at that time, it was a gray slide, oh, uh, yeah. brand new, and they kind of handed this to us. They goes, hey, what would you guys do with this? Cool. So obviously being um, uh, our kind of motto, motto is, you know, don't just be a gunfighter, be a fighter. Yeah. And our thing is we're fighters that the gun's just the tool. Our, our original thing was we started using it for that combatives, that self-defense mm -hmm. combatives, right? Uh, shooting at close quarters, uh, weapon retention, stuff like that. And then what we found is that we started using it more into um, diagnostic and teaching brand new shooters or and because a lot of times in police academy now we're getting shooters and never touched a pistol before in their right. life right? Yeah. yeah so Very getting true. into that and then uh, we really started working on programs to help some of our poor shooters mm -hmm. uh, programs to help some of our good shooters get better and nice. programs to help our, our good very good shooters they get even better or confident and maybe become instructors right and become instructors right so the cert guns is great with that because we can just like kind of crossfit type thing we could have all those guys on the line you have a brand new shooter and give them some drills right that that will challenge them. You can get a mediocre shooter on right. the, some drills will challenge them. And you can have your expert shooter on the far side and giving them still some of those same drills, the same concepts or principles of those drills to make them right. make them good shooters. So, yeah, definitely. You know, and even a nice thing too is no matter what level you're at, even going back and taking the basic stuff can re you know re uh, ingrain that into your brain. Make sure you you know brush off the cobwebs. Right. Because right. we're not all in gunfights every day. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you know that's one thing too is I mean we. Working fundamentals is just working fundamental. Working fundamentals is, Definitely. you know, the uh, you know the, the saying of there's only two people to practice fundamentals. And they're either the very new, yeah. or the very 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 good. And you know, if you yeah. watch those guys that are very good, that's what they're doing. They're really the working the fundamentals. They're not doing your squat rolls and all that all right. the time. Yeah. They're really running the fundamentals and working those. Well, hard. I mean, if you think about it in training, advanced training is just deeper level of complexity or more context better, when you just apply the fundamentals. Yeah, better applications of the basics or better applications yeah. of the fundamentals. I mean, that's that's really what experts are. And, you know, well, brother. Yeah. It's been awesome having you on. How, right. how can people learn more about you and, and uh, find you personally along with obviously Next Level Training? Yeah, Next Level Training obviously there and then at Raider Tactical. Uh, Raider Tactical on Facebook, Raider Tactical on Instagram. Uh, that's where you find us a lot. There's a lot of sponsors to make this show possible like Mantis. Make sure you check them out and give them your business. This episode of Meet the Pressers is sponsored by Mantis X. Mantis X helps shooters suck less, ASP, and Saber Red. 
Meet the Pressers is also supported by other fine companies, ranges, and our Patreon members. David, Faisal, David, Frank, Michael, Tara, and Dominic. Thank you. Thanks for watching the show. Make sure you like, comment, follow, share, click the little bell. Check us out on Patreon, give us your support there. Heck, come to one of our classes or host us for a class at your location. And until next time, this is Meet the Pressers. Thank you for watching Meet the Pressers.